Basic color correcting in Premiere Pro. I know, not DaVinci Resolve. If you're hardcore serious, do that. But for the most part, you can get away with a very good color correction in Premiere Pro. You should be shooting in manual. For God's sake, please be shooting in manual white balance. This is going to make the color correcting much easier. Head over to your Lumetri Color tab. If you've got a clip that's underexposed, use the exposure dial. You don't really want to boost it up more than two full steps. You're probably going to start introducing some noise. If your video is a little flat, you want to maybe introduce some contrast. I like to drag down the shadows a little bit. Depending on the shot, if you're really trying to pull viewers' eyes into one subject, you can use a little bit of vignette. If your highlights are too blown out, that's where there's some bright bits. Not the whole image, but some bright bits. You can pull down the highlights. But most importantly, if a shot is either too warm or too cool, you've got a little bit of wiggle room here with the color temperature. You want to make sure your whites look white. Now, you should have done this in camera, but sometimes you can miss a little. This is where you can fix that up. Another great tool is your curves. Scroll down a little, and this is a classic, an S curve. Pull down the darks, boost the lights. Makes a bit of an S. Check the box on and off. You can see the difference it makes. And that's generally how you do it.